I think that it's a serious issue um, that the gay community and the lesbian community do n just don't mix um, in New York. There's so, like if you did the Venn diagram, it would look like a pair of titties. Like there's no <laughs> crossover. And um, when you ask that question, I'm thinking about this book. I can't remember the the title. That, I mean the author, but it's called Screwball Asses. Um, does anyone know who wrote that? Okay, it's called Screwball Asses. It's this little short text um, b uh, that was written by a queer activist, and he was talking about the importance of queer communities getting together um, and like combining forces. Um, and it just isn't happening. If you have a chance to start trying to read that book, it's so dense, but your mind will be blown by the first 10 pages. This guy says things that are so crazy that you've never thought about queerness, um, about the different ways that we should test it and destabilize it and try to erode it and try to, it's like, it should be a perpetual revolution. It should not be like, I was straight, now I'm gay over here. Like we should, be, we should be leaders in questioning what gender can be, in questioning what sexuality can be. Because we've been kicked out of the comfort zone, we should be, stay out of it forever. We should always be uncomfortable. Um, but we don't really do that in practice. So in sh in, to be brief, no, I don't know about drag kings and I should. <laughs>